What's up, YouTube? Welcome to Auto 3 Garage. And if you tune in, make sure to sub in, like the video. I appreciate you. As you can see, we are on the Boosted Tahoe, Boosted Ho, whatever you want to call it. We got our old feed line. Only thing we're waiting for is our 90 degree uh, for uh, the oil pan down below. It goes to this ITC billet uh, plate. Um, but y'all will see that sometime whenever that part come in and then we do have our drain line right here We do have our cold side right here done and we're trying to get this cold side done right here We got everything tightened right here. We just trying to make it to here And as you can see this pipe right here got welded up uh, the blow valve and the air intake sensor uh, they did uh, Put this wrong so I had to um, use this bad boy to uh, widen it enough so this can get threaded uh, on. But we got everything. I just got to tighten this up. I mean, it's tight, but I need to tighten it up. Uh, the only thing we got to do is wire up this fan assembly right here. As you can see, we got electric fans. We're not going to be running the clutch setup no more. So we're going to have to repin uh, this PCM down here and then we're gonna have to leave it loose because I have to change the transmission uh, I do have a 4L60E. It's not gonna handle the power that I'm going to probably put down out of this motor So we're gonna have to try to find a 4L80E So I thought I found one but they only ship in Australia which sucks uh, from this company uh, PPS uh, Imports so I'm gonna either have to find it from my 2500 trucks uh, 3,500 trucks, if I'm mistaken, or express vans. Probably need to go buy a junkyard. I don't know, or get it off of Jags or somewhere. But we ain't gonna do that until we get this front end right here complete. Um, up here, I do want to do an oil catch can, and we still need to see what we're gonna need to do with this part right here. One thing else I'm lacking is probably fuel injectors, and that's pretty much it. Um, I know where to get them from, uh, Deets Works. Uh, they sell a good set. Um, I had talked to them, and they gave me the ones that was recommended, so I'm going to get those sometime. Um, and I think that's going to be pretty much it. I might end up getting a... Uh, well, I got to get all the gauges and all that. I'm going to have to change the map sensor to like a 2.5 or a 3 bar. Might get two of those just in case when it's time to tune it. But um, overall, everything going so far. It's just trying to get this. And I just grind this down just because I want to paint it and all. But I'm gonna just leave it like this. And guys, we got all our spark plugs in, which is a good thing. And uh, thinking about doing the coolant reservoir delete up here, but I'm not sure. If I put the tank back over that way, then I'm at the modify it in a certain way, but we might end up doing a uh, reservoir delete. I'm still going to have AC on this truck, so I'm going to have to just get a new compressor, and that's just pretty much it. Overall, this thing going good. This motor really bulletproof, so I'm excited to see what it can do. Um, I might end up hooking this up. We're going to run a vacuum line from here to this bad boy back here this little port right here and then that's pretty much it i got my dump valve for the wastegate so i could put the wastegate on but then i want to see how i'm gonna do this exhaust system and all that do i want it like coming out the hood or do i want it coming out the side of that fender or do i want it coming out under the truck um coming from the hood gonna be easy uh coming from there gonna be moderate um and coming out under the truck gonna be hard um, i want to make sure everything is like neat i'm gonna line this line up uh, i am thinking about getting the oil catch can and all that putting it like in a neat little spot so the oil catch can might go right there though but i'm gonna have everything like nice and neat and i could repaint all this but i mean it's straight i like this hit add characteristic and don't worry about this pipe. They got all this damn dirt and stuff in it. We ain't gonna be using it. But yeah. <laughs>
So guys, we got the cold side done, as you can see. Looking magnificent, and we made sure everything was tight. We got our blow valve hooked up. I might end up changing this spring right here. I think it's a 5.8 PSI spring in here. Uh, the one they sent, the uh, extra was is about like 14.8, we say about 15 PSI. So I might end up having to take this back off and change the spring, but for right now, we got everything hooked up. This had a vacuum port right here. So I just hooked it up to there. Um, the only thing we probably need to do is probably our waste gate sometime. I'm not gonna do it today. Well, I could hook it up. I don't know, I might end up hooking it up tomorrow. Uh, but I think we need to get our fuel injectors, oil catch can, uh, our map sensor, and we need to get everything down here wired from these fans. And we need to get our two bolts right here. I'm thinking about making a bracket. Y'all probably can't even see. Uh, I'm probably showing down the screen somewhere. But I need to get like a little plate or something to hold this so the bolt can hold the whole piece because that hole is too big for the nut and all the washers on there together. So it ain't gonna do no good. And what else I'm missing under here? I think that's pretty much it. So we gotta wire this up. Um, doing research on this. I think it's supposed to be in a purple and yellow wire, if I'm not mistaken. But we're gonna tap into the map sensor. Uh, this is the air intake sensor. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. And then we just gotta make sure this tight. It's pretty loose. We want to make sure it's tight. The reason why I got it loose because, like I said, we don't got um, the 90 down there below. And I'm gonna get like some <coughs> thread sealant and all that. Put it right on these ends right here. Make sure all that's tight. Yeah, that's just pretty much it. I'm gonna wrap this real nice. Uh, back here, we might put a, uh, I think a baffle, um, uh, vent on the back side. Um, I gotta see how I'm gonna do this down. Hose hook up because I wonder with the wastegate, I got two ports. Um, I know one port for the top is going to go to the boost gauge. I'm gonna get an electronic uh, boost controller, so I gotta see how that hook up. And I know one side is like for the vacuum, so I probably can hook that on this top side right here. I can't hook it on, on the turbo because I don't have no um, port on there, so I might have to hook it up right here on top. And then for my coolant situation, like I said, I already, I'm finna hook this back up right here. So this is already basically done right here. And then these two heater core uh, lines, I might end up snipping them and then just hooking them up right there. So that's gonna make sure these nice and neat. Uh -huh. We might, I'm, I might end up doing the uh, coolant delete so it's gonna be pretty fun doing that and the only thing we have is that one hose that go from here to the other end uh, right there that's just pretty much it under here and then our ac we get that figured out this is also we're gonna have to get figured out whether we're gonna go to the hood or to the side i'm not sure i'm debating and i gotta get a flange for it anyway and i probably gotta get that welded and all that good little stuff but thanks to this welding company down my road for welding this up, they did a pretty good job. And I just did this just because with a, a flat wheel, I like it. Look pretty interesting. I wonder if I paint it black, it's gonna get like a little character. I don't know. I'm gonna leave it like that. Um, I don't like this right here. Well, I do like it. I'm not gonna lie, I like it. It's okay. But I just laid it down the road. Might get a 90 and then just go from there. So yeah. That's just pretty much it. I might end up hooking everything. Um, we just wait for the harness for this. And we need to get injectors. That's pretty much it, man. So I just want to get this front end done. And then we're going to move to another major um, 
task. We got fuel pump and then I gotta change the transmission. But first thing first, I gotta locate a transmission and I wanna see how much I wanna spend for a transmission and all that. Um, so yeah, if I have to get a brand new one, I get a brand new one. Um, that's pretty much it. Or just get one from a junkyard, from a express van or 2500. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm really glad. Uh, we're going to be spending more money into the mug controllers and all that. So it's going to be pretty damn fun. And it's going to be exciting. Can't wait to get this truck running. Um, and also on the tune too. So, yeah. I see y'all. Hope y'all have a good night now. You all good. You. Oh, yeah, she looking good. Oh, yeah, y'all like that. Damn, that's looking good. And the cooler looking good, nice and tight. Man, this thing here. Oh my god, look at this angle here. Alright guys, so it's Saturday night, so I'm probably gonna end up dropping this video. Either tonight or tomorrow. So I'll see y'all man. I see you.